One of the biggest trading card games in crypto is about to launch their ecosystem token, so you're gonna see IDOs happening for that. But this is a project that you really wanna pay attention to. It's got huge backers, the game looks amazing, the graphics look really, really good, but have you heard of a little company called Amazon? Whether it be Prime Gaming or their Prime Video Service, if you've heard of The Wheel of Time, it just finished its season two, it's getting great reviews, and Aether Games has partnered with them for rights for their IP. So there's gonna be be so much attention on this game. What's up gamers, my name's Mike and I'm your host here at Fungible Games. In this video, we're gonna be diving into everything Aether Games, whether you be a token speculator that's trying to get into one of these last minute IDOs before the token launch, or more importantly, actually being involved in this ecosystem and playing this game because it looks really impressive. Now the main game here is Aether Trading Card Game and you may have already heard of it as Cards of Eternity. It's all about fast paced battles and building your own decks. And they've got a 3D CGI series called Aether saga that's like diving into a fantasy world. In the trading card game, players build decks around adventure, spells, relics, and creatures to dive into the competition. Now, they have a wide range of cards to choose from, all with different abilities. In the game, you collect something called Aether, which you get one of each turn and can hold up to a maximum of 10. Aether is the primary in-game source and you can use it for things like spells and unique abilities. And then you also have creatures which are like your assistants and they stay on the battlefield until they're destroyed. With Aether games, you can customize your characters, you can stake tokens to earn even more rewards, and refer your friends to join in the fun. And because the token sale is launching right now, what a lot of these crypto games do is reward people who are involved in the ecosystem for a while. So if you're getting involved now before their token sale, you have the opportunity for things like unexpected airdrops, exclusive game skins, and things like that. So I'm sure if you start referring friends and building up your decks, the game's probably going to reward you. For the gameplay, when you're involved in battles, you choose which creature you want to attack, but there's also adventure characters too, which on your turn, you have a chance to use a special ability. From there, it's your turn to practice with the game, get the hours in, see which combos work the best, and build the ultimate deck for winning. But best of all, while you're doing this grinding, you're gonna be earning more cards so you can stack your deck as you grow. Now, as for the Aether Games token itself, the public sale is set to launch on March 7th. There might be a chance to get involved with a few IDOs. I know the Ignition platform just had theirs, and Engine Starter has one as well, but if any more do come up, you'll be sure to see them on the Aether Games X platform and their Discord, so make sure you're following them there. And another way you can get involved in this ecosystem is grabbing an Aether Games NFT because there's going to be more rewards for NFT holders as well. Now, if you want to check out this trading card game, it's currently on early access in the Epic Game Store, so make sure you download it there. And soon it's going to be coming out on mobile, PlayStation, and Xbox. Now, as a gamer, why should you care about the AEG token? Well, it can be used for enhancing your cards now, creating new cards, getting back tokens, and winning rewards. So essentially what this means, it can range from card power-ups, but depending on where you are in your progression, if you've already got a lot of stuff, it allows you to rent it to the community so you can earn some passive tokens there. Or if you want to just start off and grind your way up, then you're on the other end and you can rent gear from other people and make more than what you're paying to rent. So we're building the in-game economy there. And then in terms of the making new cards, this is where we see crafting come into the game so you can use that AEG token to help craft a new card. One cool and unique feature is if you've built a card and you don't really like how it worked out, you can trade it in and get tokens back. And then not only that, if you want to earn tokens, they're going to have tournaments and other unique events where players will be able to earn more of these tokens. Now, one important thing before you start investing your time in a game or a gaming ecosystem is making sure it's going to stand the test of time. There'd be nothing worse than putting in like hundreds or thousands of hours and a game falling apart, the devs no longer paying attention to it, and you're like, I just wasted my time. But we're seeing amazing things from Aether Games. They've raised $12 million in seed and private round funding already towards the game. They also have huge partnerships and IP with Wheel of Time. If you haven't heard about it yet, you can head on over to Amazon Prime Video where you can watch two seasons of Wheel of Time, which were based on the book series of Robert Jordan, which is getting a similar nod as the same kind of vibe of Game of Thrones. And with Amazon having a jump on that, as 
as well as being so interested in raising Amazon Prime Gaming, we can speculate that there's going to be a lot of future attention from Amazon, which will give a lot more attention to Aether. Not only that, but of course, community and active players are so important. They've held the top spot on Zeely rankings in both all time and trending categories and maintained it for several months. Not only that, but they've got 100,000 members on their Twitter, already 55,000 members in their Discord, and even though the full game isn't released, there's already 20,000 registered players. And finally, of course, we got to look into the team and they've worked on a collective over 500 projects together, ranging with some pretty big titles, such as League of Legends, World of Tanks, God of War, Smite, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Hearthstone. Needless to say, with attention coming from places like Hollywood, these IDO public sales fully selling out, there's so much attention on Aether Games and it has incredible gameplay and graphics. So we're gonna be paying attention to it and following along on the story. So if you wanna dive into the game yourself, make sure you check them out on the Epic Game Store. And if you wanna learn more about these upcoming games, make sure you head on over to our website, fungible.games, where you can check everything out. For now though, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next video.